All right. Um, so I'm supposed to record all these meetings so that you guys get to hear them later if you want, or those who are absent get to see them. But um, I'm going to run class the same way that I've kind of been running it. Things, your assignments will be on Schoology. So even like simple sketches and stuff like that, even though I'm getting to see if you're here in school, what you're doing, I still want you to upload an image of it. Um, then after that, um, you guys that are here in school will have the supplies that you need to do the projects. Um, I, I don't, the one uh, big problem that I have is you'll have your pieces here at school, but you'll be away from school for three days. So I don't know, I don't, I have to figure that out. What does that look like? I don't think that you should be carrying your stuff back and forth, especially like this project we're doing now, because once we start constructing this project, it's going to be wet and gooey and um, you're not going to be able to carry it home very easily. So I'm going to have to kind of come up with things for you guys to do at home while other people are working. I don't know. It's not an easy task. I feel like I had this like remote thing down and now it's a whole new um, learning curve for, for me and for all of us. So um, for those of you who are at home, we're going to be doing uh, paper mache. Please sign this option. Mr. Shane, could you please go to 8222 for coverage? Mr. Shane, could you please go to room 822 for coverage? And uh, what we're going to do is we are, am I sharing my screen? Can you guys at home see my screen? No. Okay, let me share that. Good morning, Benton High School. I apologize for the interruption. Students and staff, today is a B day. So any students that have an AB schedule for classes, please report to B day classes. Thank you. <coughs> So you guys should be able to see this now, right? Yes. Well, there you go. Got that? All right. So um, our next project is going to be paper mache. I hope um, some of you have had experience with that. If not, it's a pretty easy task. Um, you're going to take newspaper. You're going to kind of loosely create a form of an animal. And then uh, we're going to apply layers of wet newspaper that's wet with a, a glue and water mixture. And that's going to cause your piece to get hard. And this is all based on this Oaxacan folk art. Uh, Oaxaca is an area in Mexico. It's uh, in the southern part of Mexico. And um, it's on the Pacific side kind of near where Guatemala starts. And a lot of, uh, there's like really great folk art from there. They do beautiful pottery and weaving and these wood carvings, they're known for these wood carvings. So they usually use animals. They, it's not always just 100% animals. They sometimes make like angels out of wood and uh, they do a bunch of other things. Uh, but we're going to focus on the animal part of it. So there's nothing realistic about the animals that they, they make. And again, these are carved out of wood. So ours are going to be a little bit different. We're definitely uh, excuse me. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm sorry, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, what they do is they carve these out of wood and then they really brightly decorate them with um, patterning. So, the patterning is usually bright colors. Um, I'm going to show you a video. I think the most fascinating thing about the video is that the men do the carving and the women do the painting, which I is. Very interesting. I wonder if there's any women carvers down there. 
So um, you can see here's these angels, like 80% of the people down there are carvers. So this is how they make their livelihood. Um, you know, things are shipped, imported to other areas and, and sold. So um, that's how they, what they do for a living. So it started as like making toys for kids out of wood because wood is in abundance there. And then they became like kind of really skilled and developed this whole craft out of it. So some examples, uh, you can see how, you know, there's not any realistic kind of uh, painting to these. The, the only thing that you're noticing is that, can you guys put your phones away? Well, I do not miss that. Um, the only thing that's realistic is the, the shape and the form of the animal. So you kind of know what animal it is. So, you know, there's a frog here, there's an impala. Um, they do a lot of like jaguars, they have those. And then they have these uh, dogs, those hairless chihuahua dogs. So they do some of that. But I'm not going to have you guys do like these traditional animals. You can choose any animal that you want. I'm not too worried about what it is that you're going to make just that you're making you're looking at making the whole body so here's some more examples horse and cows peacock and a snail so the whole key is that they're decorated in this patterning brightly colored pattern and an elephant here's my favorite the octopus and here's another one, an owl. So I want to show you this video. It's just a really quick video that shows you um, what it's like to see those folks working on their stuff. Uh, here it is down here. Thank you. 
Ah, pues sea. Ahorita puedo hacer. En esta, estos, estas líneas que queremos sacar, uh -huh. esto sí es con el estilo de maquillaje. Okay. Y los detalles más finos. Los gruesos como las orejitas o las partes más anchas sí. son con los que vamos a hacer. Ok. ¿Y cuánto tiempo se lleva? Eh, depende bastante como... Bueno, hay piezas que son comerciales. La pintura uh -huh. de estas es más rápida. Ok. Por el detalle y por todos los uh -huh. colores. Estas piezas, la pintura sí nos lleva tal vez como dos semanas. La, la pura pintura. De principio a fin. Right, I'm going to stop that there. Um, let's see, I'm going to go back to um, this. I have a couple of things here that uh, other students have done. So some of them right here, I have this draft. And I've got a swan. See how, like, there's two kinds of squishy touch on this little squishy, but they kind of hold together pretty well. Uh, she had to use, like, uh, close tools to make the feet, so if you have stuff like that at home, depending on what creature you're going to make, um, we might need some other materials to add to it. This guy doesn't, it's beautifully painted, but it, it doesn't really stand up very well. So this is like a big piece of cardboard that she added to the peacock. And then I've got a couple of pieces over here. Masking tape like this. Um, not that blue painter's tape, but this stuff. Because um, you know, we left here in March and I haven't gotten any more supplies since last year. <laughs> so I will go out and buy some of this today, but um, if you guys could please help and bring the stuff in this that you have. So I have tons of newspaper, I'll get you some masking tape. Um, We'll start working on these tomorrow. So ha today I'm going to put up that uh, assignment in Schoology of your, your sketches. And even though I might see your sketches today, I still want you to just put the picture of it, throw it up there so I can get those grades into Schoology. So I'm never going to ask you to do something that I'm not grading you for. So even sketches, I like to give you points for those um, as you go along. So you should have a sketchbook. Do you guys have a sketchbook? So all of that they can use to get a sketchbook in September doesn't really work. <laughs> um, never too late to get a sketchbook. So you can get that you know, Walmart, wherever, uh, dollar store. I do have some paper up here in case you need some.
and show these guys at home these pieces and then talk to them about what they're doing. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a sec. All right, so you guys at home, here's some examples. I don't know if you can see that. Here's like a little pig that someone made. Here is a turtle. <laughs> Kind of hard to see. Um, let me get the other ones that people have made. Here is a giraffe and a swan. So you guys at home, those of you who are remaining remote are going to have to come up with some uh, materials. So I don't know if you heard from the beginning, but um, you're going to need like masking tape. So masking tape like this, uh, some newspaper, some white copy paper to finish it off, uh, some white glue, and a, not a little bit of white glue, but a fair amount and then a plastic container that's gonna be um, rather like medium to large size because we're gonna mix up the glue with water and you'll be using that for the paper mache. So, and then you will need some paint and acrylic paint is the best kind of paint to get. So um, there's some optional things that you may need. Megan, you need me? Yeah, I need a pencil. Okay, I think I have one. Um, some optional things depending on what you're going to make. So once I see what you're going to make, I can help you. But you may need like a piece of cardboard if you need to add stuff to it. You may need some wire if you have things that are kind of like sticking out. Um, and what else? I think that's about it. So if you guys need materials from me, you need to let me know. I will have to pack them up and you'll have to come to school to pick them up. There's a pencil sharpener at the very end of the camera. So anybody at home have any questions? No. All right, so you could get to your sketching. I'm gonna put that up in Schoology and uh, it'll be due tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll show you guys how to get construct and start construction. So I know that newspaper, you know, newspaper used to be a thing that you get all the time, but now it's not easily available, but see what you can do about getting some newspaper. Some alternative to newspaper would be like a paper bags, if you get those from the grocery store. Um, stuff you get in the mail, like junk mail, if that could be crumpled up. It's anything that's going to be crumpled up to make a form. So you guys have like just just shy of 20 minutes to get some sketching done.
What do you think you're going to do? A, a dog? Okay. Do you have your um, focus on? You guys at home okay?
Oops. Who just raised their hand? Me. Do you see the question I asked in the chat? Oh, what was it? That you couldn't hear me? No. Oh, wait. Let me get to the chat. Um, I will go there <laughs> as soon as I can figure out how to get there. I could just say it now. Okay. Uh, the like the final Google Draw Mosaic or whatever that was for the last marking period. Yeah. Okay, so it don't it's, count towards this marking period. No, but um, so a lot of people had gotten it done and was doing. They were doing really well, and I wanted to end on something that was kind of uh, relatively easy. And so even though it's not due until today tonight, mm -hmm. um, I still want to count it on next on last marking period. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm.
right, so you guys make sure you're hanging on to your sketches. And again, uh, we'll just take a little or, uh, photo of it, put it up on the full screen, finish it off for a grade. And then, but hang on to it because the, um, after we form our pieces, we're going to have to paint them. So you're going to have to decide what kind of design you want on them. So we'll add that to your sketches for the back part. So for right now, we're just kind of really worried about the shape. Okay. Great. I don't know if you guys heard that, but tomorrow I want to see sketches of what you want to do so I can help you to get started. I'll be demonstrating how to um, get started with it and then hang on to your sketches because, again, we will uh, use them when we get to the point where we're going to decorate them, the circus. So you're going to need those sketches at that point. So that being said, looks like we're at the end of class. Um, anybody have any questions? You guys have any questions? Are you posting the sketch thing in Schoology for us to like? I will. I will when I get a second. That I will put that up, and it'll be due tomorrow at um, like what eleven fifty-five. Okay. Alrighty. And then you guys at home, make sure you're starting to look for your supplies. You know, right now, just uh, tape and paper or newspaper would be good. All right, ciao. See you guys tomorrow.